Hey world guys, this is me, the iTech HQ. Today in this video, we'll be actually installing iOS 6 Beta 4 on the iPod Touch, and I'll also be taking a look at the first sort of the new features that iOS 6 Beta 4 brings. Now, you need to have a UDID registered. It's pretty simple. Uh, you need to actually have the Apple Developer account in order to do this. If you don't have the Apple Developer account, then just contact any developer and give your UDID to him and it's going to add your UDID into his Apple developers account or what you can do is that you can go to websites like ios6registration.com or udidregistration.com there are a lot of websites out there I will leave a couple of them in the description below all you have to do is go there give your, uh, your UDID to them and they're going to charge you about $10 that's like the maximum I think and, uh, and you will have your UDID registered so and this is basically how you can have your UDID registered. Now actually let's take a look at my iOS 6 history. So I actually uh, installed iOS 6 on my iPod Touch the day it was released or the sort of developers sort of thing it was released. Uh, I used it for about 2 to, three uh, 2 to 3 weeks until the beta 2 came out. I absolutely enjoyed it. However, even though I used my iPad quite a lot, the iPod Touch, I use it sometimes for tweeting and for Facebooking basically however with the with the beta 1 and even the in beta 2 uh, the Facebook and like uh, Twitter apps were like keep on crashing and uh, I don't know what was happening there it was just really frustrating therefore I decided to downgrade and actually we store back to iOS 5.1.1 and then I also jailbroke my iOS device and did a lot of videos for you guys but then other day someone was telling me on Twitter that the beta 4 is a lot better so I decided to put it on my iPod Touch again. So as you guys can see, uh, the iTunes is doing its stuff. It's actually rebooting my iOS device. So let's go ahead and as you guys can just see, it saw that awesome animation. Now it's going to ask me a uh, slide to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and slide to set up. Now it's going to ask me my network. So I have Buster123. So I'll go ahead and uh, just cut this part out since I don't want you to find out my a password and stuff now it's going to ask me for my uh, location services so I'll go ahead and, uh, and actually we'll go ahead and enable my location services and uh, let's actually go ahead and go over to the next step which is going to ask me for my Apple ID yes I do have the Apple ID however I will also actually cut this part out now it's going to, uh, it's going to uh, show me the terms and conditions so I will agree to that that's going to say it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. So all right, go ahead and take as many minutes as you want to set up my Apple ID. And let's actually go ahead. Now it's going to ask me if I want to use iCloud. Yes, I would like to use iCloud. I honestly love iCloud. I would like the, you to back up my iPod Touch to my computer. Don't use Find My iPod Touch. I will enable it sometimes later. And now it's going to actually ask me about my messaging. So this is basically all the iMessage so people can reach me on actually three emails so at icloud.com at me.com and my gmail.com so a lot of emails from apple basically and then i will say don't set the diagnostics and usage next and i will say start using ipod touch so that is basically it now we are into the ios 6 beta 4 so let's take a quick look at the new features now the first feature is that uh, that there's no youtube app basically so apple has removed the YouTube app, I will be doing a sort of in-depth sort of video as to why this has happened. Uh, but there's no YouTube app and also there's a separate ma maps actually section in the settings app. So as you guys can see, you can select between the units if you want distance in meters or kilometers and the size of the labels basically. So if you want it in small, medium or large. So there are a lot of options that you select from this uh, particular pane white here panel in the settings area. So guys, that is basically it. That is iOS 6 Beta 4 on the iPod Touch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.